Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we're in Unreal Engine 4 uh, and we are going to just quickly build a very, very simple material for our leaves and a very super simple shader for our stem as well. So let's jump right in. So I've made a folder called Materials. I'm going to right click and then create a new material. I'm going to call this M underscore IV leaf and then double click to open that. Okay, so this is our base material here. Um, the base shader, should I say, and this is where we we just need to make some changes to the um, to the uh, shader. So the blend mode we want to change to um, masked. We want to make sure that two sided is checked. And let me just double check everything is kind of where we need to be, and that should do us. And then I'm going to go back on disk to where I got my um, original texture maps and I'm just going to drag them in so I'm going to bring the diffuse the roughness the opacity the normal map okay so they should be enough to get us started I'm just going to bring those in um, EXR mm, not, maybe not the, <laughs> the the most optimal method of doing it but for this purpose I'm, I'm just going to go with what I've got on disk so we can drag these texture maps into um, our material builder and make those connections as we need to so I'll bring that in and bring the normal and attach that and the opacity mask we're just going to use the red channel of that and there you can see we're starting to build our leaf shader there so if I hit save now okay and what we want to do is we want to create a dynamic link between this material or an instance of this material probably better so I'll just create a material instance of that okay so we've got this MI material instance here for um, and what we want to do is create a dynamic link between our digital asset and this material and we can do that using attributes so if I right click on this material and then just copy that reference okay back in Houdini we can use a node called unreal material and what it's looking for is it tells you here in the string attribute it's looking for a relative path to the shader inside unreal project so we can control V to put our relative path okay and because we only want this material to go on our leaves we can set the group field to be our L system J if we remember all the way back um, that is just the leaves leaves sorry okay and with that assignment when we import this digital asset now it should pick up this unreal material attribute and then it will find this relative path to that material. So again, let's save our asset. So save asset IV generator, jump back into Unreal and go to our digital assets and just quickly re-import that asset. Okay. And now with the ones that we've got in our scene already, we can update them by finding our Houdini parameters here cooking actions there uh, under cooking actions we want to just tell these assets to rebuild themselves using the latest instance so we've added those material parameters now um, so if we hit rebuild asset and give it a second there you go you can see that now we're starting to bring in that correct and if I do the same for the next one, so rebuild asset, you can see that that's now pulling in the correct material for it. All right, I'm just going to move that one a bit out of the way. Cool. So we're definitely getting there. We're chasing down the problem. The, the next thing we need to really tackle is this vine, uh, the, the central stem. Um, and we're going to color that use with vertex color uh, and we're just going to create a simple shader that blends between two colors based on vertex color so let's get that set up in Houdini first of all 